What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about why it is so important to choose a domain if you want to make more money. But before we get into that, I have two things I want to discuss. First is kind of the elephant in the room, which is I am not in my normal setup. Uh, if you haven't seen uh, my post on YouTube or if you're not following me on Instagram, which you should, I just recently moved. And so all of my things are in boxes. I don't have a desk. I'll pan to a shot below here so you can see what I'm working with. I'm on this like teal table, um, but I don't have like any of my equipment. So I have my you know camera in front of me. I have my microphone, but I don't have anything else. And I have just a white background. I have ordered a desk. I've ordered some some things to kind of make this look nice, but this is going to be like where my desk is. Um, I don't even have my glasses. I, I lost them during packing, so I don't have anything but i'm not gonna let anything get in the way i'm gonna keep making videos for you guys so don't worry i'm gonna keep posting videos even if my background is terrible and it takes me you know a few weeks to get all that in and get that set up and actually looking nice but over the next several videos i'm sure it will just be like a progression of, of getting a little bit better each time hopefully uh but we'll see the second thing is that we have a sponsor for today's video and that is 365 data science they are completely rebranding their entire website. They're giving a month free from 18th of October to the 18th of November. You can find a link in the description if you want to go check them out. They have content on everything related to data science, data analytics. And if you go on their website, you will see a lot of familiar faces that you see here on YouTube. So be sure to go and check them out. They have fantastic courses. I've done a lot of those myself. So I know that they are really, really high quality. And so if you want to learn data analytics or data science and you have specific things that you want to learn, be sure to check them out. With that being said, let's jump into today's video, which is choosing a domain to make more money. Now, this is a very specific video and it stems from a conversation that I had with one of my mentees. And if you don't know, I have a mentorship program where I work with you and uh, you know, we work on resume and working with recruiters and working on portfolios so that you can get a job faster. Uh, and so I was having a conversation with one of my mentees the other day who is already a data analyst. He's been doing it for about, you know, nine months now, um, but he just kept with the mentorship program because he likes working with me and, and, you know, we have really good conversations. And so, you know, we were talking and he said, you know, I really want to make more money but I also want to find the domain that I like because the domain that he's in right now, he doesn't particularly enjoy, um, but he kind of wants to feel it out and try some other jobs. And so, you know, there are some things that I warned him against in that that I wanted to share with you guys. And what I said was, I said, that's totally fine. I think that's actually a really good idea, especially early on to kind of hop around and try different domains and see what you like. Because if you get stuck in one, that you don't like and you end up doing that for like 30 years. I mean, that's just miserable. So choosing a domain that you enjoy is important. Um, but he wanted to, you know, make a lot of money. And, and I totally get that. I myself want to make a lot of money. I'm sure just like you. And so what I warned him against was doing that for too long, because what's going to happen is, is as you hop around to different places, as you hop around to different domains, it's going to become a lot harder to get a mid-level a full-time job in the domain that you like. And so here's the example. Let's say this person, uh, let's call him John. Let's say John continues to job hop and then in the end he realizes he's like, okay, I actually really wanna be in healthcare. And so now he has about like, let's say four years of experience as a data analyst and he has no years of experience in healthcare, but he's like, okay, I think that's the one I really want. So now he wants to get into healthcare. So he starts applying to all these places. Well, some of these people who are very similar, they have four years experience as a data analyst, they've been in healthcare for four years. And so they have a lot of domain knowledge that comes along with those technical skills. And so he's going up against all these other people who have domain knowledge in that area. And so the first thing is, is it's gonna be a lot harder for him to find a mid-level job, which is where he should be after four years. He shouldn't be going after junior roles or entry-level roles anymore. You can, but you know, you're kind of putting yourself backward at that point. Um, and so, you know, those people are most likely gonna get those jobs, and those jobs are going to pay more because the entry-level job and the junior level jobs are not gonna pay as much, which it's just it makes sense, right? As you get from uh, entry level to mid-level to senior, the pay is going to go up. 
And the thing that normally drives that is years of experience and years within a domain. And so let's say John, uh, let's reverse that and say, you know, he chose a domain early on that he really enjoyed. He now has three years experience in that. He is now competitive in that job for that healthcare position. And so now he has the ability to go in. Now, how does this relate to money? Uh, I kind of touched on it a little bit, but I want to be, um, you know, really hit this home, which is if you want to transition from making like 50s and 60s up to like making 70s, 80s, 90s, you really need to choose a domain because a lot of these jobs that are just data analysts, but have, you know, they don't care what your background is. They just care about your technical skills. Those jobs normally don't pay as much um, just in general. Like they pay what an entry level role is. You're going to be hitting around the 50s and 60s for a long time. And you can do that for a long time if you want. And so if John wants to skip around, he can do that, but he might get himself locked in that 50 to 60 range for a long time because he doesn't have any domain knowledge in the area that he wants. And so if you want to focus in a domain and you want to stay in one that you enjoy and that you want to make more money and grow in, you need to find that, I think, within the first three years. Um, and that's not always possible, but that is optimal. And so if you want to start making 70, 80, 90,000 within the first you know, five years of your career, you really need to choose a domain and hopefully it's one that makes money. Um, you know, you can go the nonprofit route and you're just not going to make as much money. You know, that domain does not make much money. But if you go with the tech route, healthcare, uh, finance, anything like the, just the top ones that you know are going to make more money. If you stick in those and you have three to five years experience and you're a mid-level analyst in those areas, you are bound to make a lot more than somebody who has three to five years experience just as a data analyst, but with no domain knowledge. So, uh, you know, as I started to think about that and as we talked about it more in that conversation with me and, and this mentee, I was like, I really feel like I should share that because I don't want you guys to kind of hop around for the first several years of your career and then be like, Alex, you know, I'm still making, you know, 40, 50, $60,000. How do I get to the next level? Well, I want to tell you now so that you can start planning ahead and, and try to find that domain that you enjoy so that you can grow in it and then end up making a lot more money. Because that's what I want for you guys. I want you to be successful data analysts who make a lot of money and, and just like completely change your lives and are able to change careers and, and, and make you know, a living out of doing something that you really love and enjoy. And so that is, uh, you know, that is what I want to talk about today. I'm again, I'm going to have a whole video on choosing a domain, what to look for, um, everything encompassing that coming up soon, uh, probably within the next month or so, because, uh, you know, it's just uh, I don't know. I've been thinking about it a lot. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, I'm back. I'm going to try to get into the swing of things. I'm going to try to get this place set up well um, again. I, I hope that, you know, this was helpful in, in some way, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you appreciate it. If you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.